uh, Chris here from Tech Tablets. I have in front of me here a Cube i7 that has, uh, this is a Cube i7 stylus that has a screen that is stuck together. So it's not a laminated display and this can happen in transit. And often it does because what happens is the courier companies and post companies will package all the packages that tight together that it's actually compressing the screen and putting pressure on the tablet. And this is the result. And it is actually fixable normally. I have been able to fix all the ones that this has happened to. It's happened to the Chewy HI8 that I had. And all you need to do is literally just run your fingers around the outside of where the screen is actually stuck onto the IPS panel. Just move around here and it should unstick itself. Should. And you sometimes have to apply quite a bit of a pressure and it would hopefully come unstuck. This one looks like it's going to be quite a tough one. So what you need to do in that case then is to get yourself one of those suction cups and put that on the screen and we'll pull it up using that. So if I stick this on here right in the middle and get a good seal on it, hopefully I should be able to pull the screen, the glass digitizer away from the IPS panel there that's stuck on there. I mean this shouldn't happen in the first place of course, but before you do start looking at returns, I can see it's starting to work now. And there we go, fixed. And when you turn on the tablet, there should be no damage. Should be fine, I'll just power it on now. Okay, it doesn't have enough charge to power on, but it, it does seem that uh, the tablet is fine there. The screen looks to be okay. There's no lasting marks there. That's just some water there left over from where I put the uh, suction cup on. So hopefully this video is helpful for some people that uh, get their new tablet and realize that, uh, what the hell, <laughs> the screen's stuck. It's got a big bubble in the middle where the screen is stuck together there. That, uh, yeah, you can fix that before you get in touch with the custom support and all that because from tablet, tablets from China, it can be hard actually to get them to acknowledge issues like this and and really they'll tell you to send it back to them so you have expensive post costs and all that. So you just try this first and hopefully that's going to help. Thanks for watching the video and see you in my next one.